canopy for the sea vixen. Absolutely stunning for Craig. The clear canopies ever since I started them. Um, there's no going back. Absolutely love them. It's pretty simple to do as well um, after a wee bit of practice. Here's one from the SU57. Unfortunately, she no longer lives with us. Um, after a recent air traffic incident, I was found the pilot was to blame, ejected, and left the plane to um, yeah, find its own way home. But this one was totally 3D printed. All the files are available online. A couple of uh, magnets that are just held, held the canopy on. As you can see, it's all printed. This one was for my Voodoo build. As you can see, just a piece of foam, foam base, magnet at the back, and I've got a wee tongue there that was um, used to secure it at the front of the jet. And again, a couple of crazy pilots ejected, left the plane to, um, she was actually inverted at the time, um, as she passed by and the pilots decided we were too low, um, ejected and, and off they went. Printed a couple of seats, a couple of pilots, some wee cockpit files, some um, just whatever files you can find in there. Here's one from my F-16. Absolutely love it. Um, again, simple clear canopy for Craig. Some 3D printed seats, a wee, a wee backrest. Crazy, crazy looking pilot. Um, this one was for the Gripen. Absolutely love this one as well. As you can see here, um, foam base. I've used two magnets to secure it onto the fuselage itself. And as you can see, um, I just built a wee box underneath it. Um, housed the, the seat in there to where I thought it was right. Um, the pilot. Cut off the pilot just so it sits in there. Um, a wee cockpit dash. And some wee bits and bobs in the back just to make it look pretty cool. And I've actually got some um, fiberglass cloth um, just stuck inside there that I've, I've painted as well. Just in a wee tan colour just to add a wee, wee bit of difference of colour in there. So how I go about them is pretty much um, the same. same. Same method. I'll 3D print the the canopy and I use that through the build process making sure that the cockpit um, the spacing and things in the cockpit is all um, relative and, and matches up to the 3D printed so that this matches that scrap piece of foam just mark around it Now what I will do, in the Vixen, there's actually a wee bit of space at the front where I can put a lip, a lip in. So we'll keep, we'll keep that wee bit extra there at the back. It's about right. And what we do, move these to the side. that will allow us to slide the canopy in and close it by using some magnets. So here marking up the cut lines. Here I've just got the 3D printed canopy inside the clear canopy and marking it with a sharpie. Now the sharpie is on the outside so it's giving you um, that little bit of space to 
you know, trim, make mistakes and trust me, I've certainly made a few mistakes when it comes to cutting the canopy, so it's better to just slowly trim away parts and get it to the nice fit. So here we're sizing up the, the pilots and realising that it just looks too small. So back to the printer, print some um, larger uh, pilots. Got some seats and things and just found some cockpit files, anything that I've got and just resizing them to fit the canopy. So here we just marked up the base plate to show where I intend to put all the wee, wee parts and pilots and seats and stuff. And then moving on to the first fit. Just wee test fit, test fit all the way along it. Each step always an RV test fit just to make sure it's right. And then we no making too many mistakes. So once we've got the layout marked on the piece of foam, I'm just sizing up um, the 3D printed parts just to see where I intend to stick them and where it kind of suits on the, the, the clear canopy itself and making sure there's enough space. So just lining it up to the fuselage again. And then offer up the base part just to see how it fits. Because the canopy edges are slightly curved, I'm going to trim away some of the, the base plate itself just so that it matches the the, the overall shape of the, the fuselage. And obviously we've got rounded edges so that when we glue the um, clear canopy to it, it's, there's a, a, a flat surface for it to um, stick to with the glue. If it was straight up and down, it wouldn't stick properly and it would look pretty silly. So again, trimming, test fitting, trimming, test fitting. As you can see, we're still trimming away on the clear canopy and there's the black lines are there for the Sharpie. And again, just take another wee part off it. As close to the black line as possible. Once I'm kind of happy with it, or nervous might be a right choice of words, just keep test fitting and test fitting. As you can see on the clear camera, there's still a wee bit of the black lines there, black markings from the Sharpie. Again, test fit against the base plate. See how it looks. So there will still be a wee bit of trimming to be done on the clear canopy itself. And again, check it up against the fuselage. Quite happy that that fits. And then sizing up the clear canopy itself. Now at this point it is still just a wee bit too big. So I've trimmed off um, just a wee bit more of the clear canopy, it's better to have a wee bit excess than, than not enough and trim too short. So here we're just marking up scrap piece of foam, cutting the end panels and these will be used to support the canopy itself at the back and at the front. So there it is, it's just use the 3D printed canopy to get the shape so that the curves right. However, I forgot to remove six millimeters from the base as we're now sticking this curve on top of a six millimeter piece of foam. So I just cut a wee strip off. This part, I'm moving to the middle section on the co-pilot side of the cockpit and using the former, the semi-circle template from the end, I'm using this and then cutting 6mm strip off the bottom. That way it should still match the shape of the canopy. And this will help um, another contact surface as well when it comes to securing the canopy down. And then on with the back piece. Again, remove the 6mm strip from the bottom. So here we're just sizing up the co-pilot's cockpit. And it is quite shallow. So it takes a wee bit of trimming. I 
in this part along the middle again that'll help support the the canopy and a wee bit extra contact surface for gluing and securing the canopy to the base plate or the cockpit let's call it so again just sizing up to see how it looks against the the window on the canopy where i'm going to put the wee crazy little co-pilot inside i do believe that was that was a brave position to be in a wee bit of yoohoo porn stick it up so the pilots you know there's plenty of pilots online and um, canopies online on the jetworks here I've 3D printed a couple of the pilots that was, I think it was the F-22 pilot and resized it to fit. As you can see I've, I've given a wee paint job and all the other parts I've 3D printed just with files that I've found online, files that I have and just build a wee cockpit. Yes, it's not scale, um, however, it's a uh, RC jet, it should be fun. And I'm pretty sure, well, I'm hoping these pilots don't decide to eject at any point and leave the plane to free, free land. So just sizing up the wee cockpit and using the pilot as a reference. Just to make sure it kind of fits all right. And here I'm just using wee scrap pieces of foam as well. Yes, yeah, it's, it's fine to use 3D printed parts, but you can use whatever it is that you've got, I've just cut out some squares and stuck it together just to add a wee bit of interest at the back of the, the cockpit, back of the pilot seat. And then here with the, the seat 3D printed, it's just pretty much the headpiece. And as you can see the pilot, there's a lot of the pilot being cut off just so that he sinks below the canopy. I did think about building a box um, and giving him a, a proper, you know, maybe a wee TV and PlayStation and stuff, but the cockpit reinforcers are directly below um, this part, and I thought, well, just going to trim his legs off, trim the biggest majority of them off so that it fits, and I don't need to do anything with the, the side panels. So here I'm just using these scrap pieces, whatever I've got lying about. Again, just to add a wee bit of interest. Some scrap, but this, this part was the um, bottom of the, the seat. Just cut um, wee scrap bits off it and stick it on with a wee bit yoo-hoo pour. Like I say, it's not a scale cockpit, but it looks pretty cool. So here I've, I've hit it with some um, Genolite filler primer, but um, as you can see, the it's eight into the foam. I'm I'm not really too bothered about it that much. I'm just want to give it a wee wee bit of a prime before I start hitting it with paint. Just wee test, test fit again at the canopy, see how it looks, and then I started just in the parts that you'll see. I just started putting in some paint, just whatever I had lying about. If you can see, there's a wee bit of texture there, and then again. Um, just wee bits of foam, you've got to have a bit of red. Danger, danger. And just, you know, do the cockpit however it is you see fit. It should be fun. Like I say, it's certainly no scale, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. The end result was fantastic. So gluing in the pilots now, now that we're happy with the position and we've got it painted inside. And final step was just using some what you call it, um, panel lines, um, a dark grey and just smashing it with some panel lines just to add a wee bit of texture and different grades of colour. And then test fitting, once it's in, um, time to attach the canopy magnets. So we attach the canopy magnets at the back as per the plan. And see that we're happy with that. And then once that's in, because it's flat against it, we can glue the clear canopy to it. Once that's glued, I just tape it up. I've got some plastic panel line tape and then some frog tape over the back, tape over the windows. And again, hit it with the, the grey primer. That way it blocks out most of the light um, we, and, and is ready to take a nice coat of paint. Hit it with the blue paint, a wee bit of gloss. You can see it's still needing a wee bit of sanding and finishing, but I think, you know, it looks pretty much fantastic. 
and this is how I go about building my canopies. So I hope that helps. Maybe a couple of wee tips here and there for anybody. Um, but like I say, I hope it helps and looking forward to seeing your canopies. Huge shout to Craig for providing the clear ones. Thanks again, pilots, and all the best. Happy, happy flying.